Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's finish off World 4 with Wendy's Thwomp Castle. Have we met Thwomps in this walkthrough yet? I don't think we did. Well, we are about to. See that guy? If you go next to it, it'll fall! Run, 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 run. <laughs> They're like the, the trap sort of enemies of the Mario universe, I guess you could say. Safely, probably like that. That seems like a good idea. Okay, I think I can run through the rest of them relatively easily. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so I didn't set myself up for this jump. I wasn't looking far enough ahead. That was my fault, though. Yeah, threading the needle. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, watch the coins, not Luigi, and jump for him. I guess you could say that's what I was doing at least. Oh, oh, just run off edges when you can. Just watch carefully. Oh, oh I can tell that there's a secret down there. <laughs> that, that much is obvious. Oh, what's this? Just the exit area, I guess. Okay. Well, that was easy. <laughs> just basically run through everything and you won't have much issue with the level. Well, unless you need to uh, make a little detour for the star coins or whatnot, but that's like an added challenge. All right, Wendy, with your earrings flopped over the cannons, let's go. You and me, right now. I don't care that you're a girl. You're going down because you're a terrible, terrible person. <laughs> well, a terrible, terrible Koopa. Aha. Yeah, you can uh, defeat the Koopa kids with um, uh, the wow ah, poopers with using fireballs, but it takes three fireballs per hit, so it's not really the most efficient way of going about doing things. I'm gonna start dropping off the. Yeah, you are. Oh, ha! That was a nice jump. Hate to compliment myself there because it sounds kind of self-centered in a way, but that was a really, really precise jump. <laughs> Yeah, and it's over. Yeah, I'm Success! Mm. Ah, there's a crash. <laughs> And do not take the right path. Do not take the right path. Yes, I know the le the world is 100%ed, but do not take the right path. Because it's going to immediately lead you to a level that you can just not escape from playing. So that would kind of throw off my level ordering system that I have going on here. So I'm just going to backtrack safely through all the cooligans, all the way back over to the sparkling waters, which is world three. Well, technically, Sparkling Water is in um, the, the Glacier... Oh, I, I can't even think of the name of the world. The Last World! <laughs> for, for some reason, I can't think... I couldn't think of the name of the world. Frosted Glacier, that's the name of it. So, yeah, technically, they could be three or four, because you do them in any order that you please. Or you can do them in any order you please, or just skip out on them. So, technically, World 5 could actually be World 4. Anyway, I'm just babbling here. Sparkling Waters Dash 1, Hucket Beach Resort, let's start. Huckets are the crabs that shoot, throw little dirt balls or little rocks. Yeah, depending on the game, you'll see them th throw different things. And yeah, those are the Hucket Crabs. They're relatively uh, simple enemies. They're, they're actually a lot like the, uh, the spike enemies, that you know, ones that throw the spike balls. Uh, back, in the, ah, back in the desert, I want in the pipe. No, stop it! Ah, the, the rocks! They're affected by the water. They all just kind of filter out in one line of death. <laughs> Secret Luigi and the ever important star coins. Well, just one star coin. You gotta collect them all. Gotta catch them all. Uh, uh, there's one really obscure star, star coin in this level. I think you, you're required to have a power up to get it. I'm just gonna go over the huts. I think it'd be safer to do so. 
Um, no, I thought I was gonna get a prize for doing that, or for getting that. Aha! One of these sides, if you go up them, will trigger a star coin to appear. Ooh, this is pretty, this is pretty ugly to get into. Ah! <laughs> Ow. Hmm. Well, I, I have an easier chance of getting in there now that I'm little Luigi. Eh. I should say, oh jeez, you have such a floaty jump. Ah! Okay, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time this round to get in there. But you do have to get in there in order to make a star coin appear, I assure you. <laughs> and you can use those rocks over there to get the um, one up at the flagpole if you would like. It's a personal preference thing, but I, I don't have any issues using the water spouts to jump at the top of the flagpole. Yeah. But we're not done yet. I wonder if I should get a power-up like... Uh, mm, I would prefer to have like a fireball or something to be able to shoot <laughs> through that hole. Well, there's a mushroom. That's a good start. But as I said before, the levels tend to give you the means to 100% them all on their own. Why did I go through that hut again? It was, it was kind of pointless. Oh, this is actually something I could use. No, oh, oh geez. Because I can use that to freeze stuff to throw through the opening, I think. Alright, we're already over here because this is a really short level. Alright, so... Can I get an ice... Oh, shoot! I cannot. <laughs> However, can I, like, just bash through all of them from the top? Because I am Super Luigi. Like, if I were to ground pound straight from up here and go down. Yes, that works. There we go. Now I don't have to thread the needle. <laughs> Whoop. I was just overcomplicating things by trying to get a little Mario in there earlier on, but, you know, that wasn't the intended method, of course. I just wanted you to smash through everything. Alrighty, now we go on to number two, Urchin Reef Romp. You remember urchins, right? The little, well not little, they have various sizes actually. Oh, you don't think I'm gonna miss that, do you? Oh, don't be preposterous, that's an obvious secret. <laughs> yeah, the urchins can be different sizes, and for the most part, the larger ones are invincible! I forgot about the current. <laughs> Press that jump button like you've never pressed a jump button before when you're in current so that you avoid falling to flailing to your doom. Do you guys go in different directions? Thank you. There we go. I bet there's a secret up there. Or maybe not. I was gonna say because there's coins up there. Oh, up here. Wah! Oh, uh oh. Like I could shoot fireballs at the at these smaller ones and I would, I'd be able to kill them, but. These larger ones are virtually invincible to that sort of shenanigans. I would like a power though, that would be very much appreciated. Oh, I need a power to get in there. Well, I could take a hit to get in there, but that's not... I don't think I'd be able to get back out. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I... No, I won't be able to get a, a prize from this. Because, yeah, oh well. Oh, I was one coin short. <laughs> so close. So very, very close. By the way, having a fireball in this level makes this level very trivial for the most part because you can shoot practically everything that's in your way except for the large urchins. So... Keep one on hand, I suppose. <laughs> uh, even the ice would be pretty good, though the ice can get in your way sometimes because the ice floats in the water because, you know, ice more buoyant, so it doesn't really stay where it is underwater. Yeah, and that can get in your way when you're trying to escape something. Alright, speedrun time! Arr! Arr! Actually, maybe speedrun isn't such a good idea, because I need a uh, power-up to make it to that spot, so you guys do a nice split for me, please. There you go. Seems like when you approach those, they, they move out of your way naturally. They're like, oh, I don't mind you. We're just well, Let's just coexist together happily. And that's how things should be. Alright. Power up. Power up. Power up. Yes. Yes. And now I can destroy everything. This is why it, it pretty much 
breaks the level. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, that's fine. Boop. Maybe I can get all the blue coins this time. Let's see, I can... Oh, that's set up as well. They have to be set up with the urchins so that you can get through this pathway safely. So I, once again, I missed one. Well, too bad. Oh, and you'll notice that the hitboxes of the urchins aren't as big as they look. You can sort of brush up against where the spikes are and you won't take a hit from them. It's more when you come closer in contact with the purple body that you take a hit from them. I guess it's similar to how pressure is what causes needles to poke you or something like that. You know, it, it's, it's not when you just touch the tip, it's when you touch the tip with enough pressure. Anyway, Sparkling Waters, Dash Lifehouse. Let's start, it's this again! This again. And I'm at 78 lives, good lord. <laughs> I will never see the game over screen unless I purposefully lose everything. <laughs> um, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. It's possible that I could lose all my lives on, on some of the harder levels that, that come out later on. Oh, shoot. Oh, I came out with a minus one on that shot. Oh, came out even there. Nope. Come on, the one-ups. Gotta get to that 99. <laughs> all at once. Oh, no! Well, I came up with a little bit of profit here. Four lives. Could have done better, but I just got too many Bowsers in that in that particular run. Mm, thus, the house gets demolished. Dang it, Luigi. You rocked the house. Shish Kebab Tower at Sparkling Waters Tower. This means it is a Mega Spike level of awesomeness. I love Mega Spikes. Um... They're just such a wicked obstacle to contend with. They just look awesome. Alright, gotta do some hopscotch with the fireballs to get... Oh wait, I thought there was something over here. Hmm, hold on. There's... I know there's something on, on one of these sides. Oh, there it is! There's a star coin. I knew there was something around there. Woo! Well, that was fast. <laughs> I wonder if I should have just wall kicked my way up there, because perhaps I missed something important on the way up there. Although I could just jump back down and wall kick my way up there if I wanted to. But I'm, I'm going to assume that I didn't. Just for the sake of uh, video pacing. Ah, oh, shoot. How do I want to get past this? Get this and like this, right? Okay. That falls there. I'm going to save myself up here. Yes. Okay. It seems like the best way to go about doing stuff. <laughs> What's... Oh, shoot. I've, I've wall kicked. Now oh, there was a Luigi up there. Oh, I need a power-up to get inside there. Oh, poopers. That means I'm gonna have to replay this level, and oh, wow, this is... quite the evil little combination you've got here. <laughs> okay... Haha! -ha. Yeah, I can't get that without a power-up, and the power-up comes after this point, so I'm gonna have to leave it behind for now. That's fine. Anything around here before I go inside? I got 12 seconds to look around. No? Okay, let's go in. I well, know I'm gonna manage to get or I managed to keep a power up through the whole level. That's that's pretty tricky. There's some tight spots there. Uh oh. What's Kamek gonna do this time to Boom Boom? Oh no! He's throwing PlayStation buttons everywhere. Um, what's the difference in this one compared to other ones? The water? Does, does the water do anything important? I I forgot. <laughs> Hmm. Nope, guess not. <laughs> the water was completely useless. Well, I, I guess maybe Boom Boom was sped up a little bit. Just a little bit, I, I guess. But that doesn't mean the patterns are any harder to uh, avoid. <laughs> Alright, gotta go back in. Yes, I will. I suppose I should show the whole run. Because this is one of the few levels where it's important to have a power-up at a certain point of level. So I've got to get through this unscathed. Can I do this? Well, I can take one hit along the way. But that is all. Um, can I like... Uh, I was going to say, can I like fly up to that platform? But I don't think so. I'm gonna have to take this normally. Aha! Okay, doing pretty well. 
And there is the last star coin. I could safely rush and take a hit now if I wanted to. Oh, I probably should do that actually. You serious? You serious? <laughs> I was doing so well. So, so well. Alright. Run three. For me. Woo! So fast even the camera can't, can't keep up. Though I think they do that on purpose, just to like startle you a little bit. Like an artistic way to make you go... <laughs> yep. oh. Okay, that, that's not hard at all. It's just this one section right here is... It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I should probably kill off that fire bro, actually. Yes, that should make things a lot easier, because I don't have the fireballs to contend with now. Yes. Still gotta beat Boom Boom, though. Still gotta beat Boom Boom. I think I'm gonna keep my squirrel power. And once I beat Boom Boom, I'll end off this part. <sighs> oh, you'll notice that when you have to beat a boss a second time, they just speed up the cutscene a little bit. It's kind of, kind of a way to make things uh, feel less tedious, so to speak, I suppose, when you have to do something again or want to do something again. Sorry, Boom Boom, I'm not even going to give you a chance this time. <laughs> I see what you had to offer, and, well, it wasn't anything special, so I'm just going to speed up this battle this time. Alright, and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.